all about the clap back. Get your boss whack, premieres funeral on Snapchat. Ha! You now tuned into the bad guy. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest force of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen. What happened to them three dollar bills, man? What happened to them? I thought it was nice. I thought y'all told me that the, that the Bills was ready to beat the Patriots for the division. I thought you told me that Josh Allen was an MVP. I thought you told me that the Bills is ready for prime time. No, they're not. No, they're not. This is why I call them the $3 Bills. Because they're fake. They're not real. They don't exist. They're phony. They're fugazi. They're cubic zirconia. They're not real diamonds. That's what the Bills are. From here and now, for all of eternity... On Fisk Unit Entertainment, on all Fisk Vegas channels and platforms, they will be referred to as the $3 Bills. They are no longer the Buffalo Bills. They are the $3 Bills. This guy, Josh Allen, a.k.a. Josh Trubisky, showed his, reared his ugly head today. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, going into the season, <laughs> going into the season, the boy couldn't throw. Now, all of a sudden, he gets Stephon Diggs. He got an offensive line, and now he looks a little bit better. But today, the real Josh Allen, a.k.a. Josh Trubisky, he showed up. Okay, Josh Trubisky, 26 for 41, 263, two touchdowns and two picks. The Josh Trubisky showed up today. You know what I'm saying? Now, I ain't got a problem with Josh Trubisky. It, it just, he just happens to play for the Bills. And the Bills are a fan base that I detest. Okay, the Bills Mafia makes me sick. Okay, Bills Mafia makes me sick. If I could throw them through a brick wall, I would. Okay, if I could just take every Bills fan and just throw them through a brick wall on repeat, I'd do it. But I can't do that. So, because I can't do that, I'm just going to bury you on wax. Alright, Bills Mafia, where were y'all on my live stream? I was live for this game. Where, where, where were the Bills fans at? Y'all wouldn't know where to be found. Y'all was y'all was quiet. Y'all was quiet. Y'all was nowhere to be found. I was I was looking. <laughs> it's funny. I was looking for y'all. It's funny though, because Bills fans they're front runners. They only want to show up when they think their team is nice. When they lose, they're nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. They in a dark room listening to Marvin's. They in a dark, all black dark room. Blasting Drake Marvin's room right now. They depressed. They depressed. <sighs> Stephon Diggs had a good game, of, of course. You know what I'm saying? It must be nice. Stephon Diggs had 16 targets. It must be nice to have a number one receiver that you could just throw the ball to 16 freaking times. I mean, it must be nice. There's a lot of quarterbacks in the league who would love to have a number one receiver who they could just force feed the ball to 16 times. Now, what I want to talk about next is Ryan Tannehill. This team ain't practiced or played in two weeks, and they better than y'all. That's a shame. How you lose to a team that been sitting on their couch playing Call of Duty and eating Cheetos for two weeks? How is that even possible? They done shut down the facilities. These dudes is doing Zoom meetings and shit in their boxes, and they still found a way to beat y'all. That's because y'all sorry. Y'all trash. Y'all are fake. Y'all are phony. Y'all are the $3 bills. Y'all out for real. Y'all a joke. We supposed to believe y'all gonna beat Cam Newton and Bill Belichick? We supposed to believe that you stand a chance against Kansas City on Monday night? Mahomes is coming off a loss. Mahomes off a loss is going to fillet this sorry Bills defense. This sorry Bill defense just gave Ryan Tannehill 21 for 28, 195 yards, and three touchdowns. They let Ryan Tannehill go 21 for 28 for three touchdowns. Derrick Henry, he had 19 carries, two tubs. A.J. Browning played all damn year. He he came back like he could crack. He had seven catches for 82 yards and a touchdown. Y'all ain't shit, Buffalo. Y'all ain't shit. I've been trying to tell you this. Listen, people. 
This is why I say give me eight weeks. This is why I say that. Give me eight weeks of a sample size. I don't give a fuck if you come out here and you think you nice for, for, for two, three weeks. It doesn't matter. I need, I need an eight week sample size. And what kills me the most of the Bills is the Bills should actually be two and three right now. They should have lost to Miami. All right, should have lost to Miami. And then they, sh- they really should have lost to the Rams. They should have lost to the Rams. The referees robbed the Rams, ironically enough, on a note on a, on a pass interference call. So the referees call pass interference on the Rams and, the, and give the Bills a win. Bills are supposed to lose that game. And then, freaking, they had the game with um tonight where they get blown off the field by 30 points. What is it? What's the score? 41-16? 40, 40, 42 to 16. They got blown off the field by 26 points. It's embarrassing. What did y'all even show up for? We supposed to be trying to make t- Tuesday night football a big thing, and y'all lay an eight. Kids went to sleep. They had school to go to. People, people went to sleep. They gotta get up, go to work tomorrow. Anybody try and watch the three dollar bills get their brains blown out all over Tennessee? I mean, y'all couldn't stop Ryan Tannehill. How you gonna stop Cam Newton? How you gonna stop Mahomes? Hell, y'all playing Mahomes, which means y'all probably playing the AFC West, right? Can y'all stop Justin Herbert? Can y'all, do y'all want to smoke with Justin Herbert? If y'all play him this year, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say y'all should be playing Justin Herbert this year because y'all played, uh... Y'all playing my home, so y'all probably playing the AFC West, right? I don't know. But I'm just saying, the, the, the point remains the same. Y'all ain't shit. Josh Trubisky will never be an MVP. He's not on that level. He ain't Russell Wilson. Okay. He ain't Aaron Rodgers. He ain't Tom Brady. He ain't that. Buffalo was excited for a month. They thought they had a quarterback. But now you know you don't. So I want all Buffalo Bills fans to go back to the loser mentality that they normally had. Go back to being the losers, the sorry existence for human beings that you normally are. Y'all are a disgrace to the human race. If aliens were monitoring us from Jupiter, Pluto, or Mars, they would say, what the hell is wrong with this planet when they see Bills fans crushing beer cans over their foreheads and jumping on trailer parks on the flaming tables. Y'all disgust me. That disgusts me. I have nothing else to say. Shout out to the Tennessee Titans. Everybody in Buffalo, y'all can SMD. Y'all ain't shit. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fitz Vegas, and I approve this message.